Right, today we have an anchor chart page for factor trees and prime factorization. Okay, so a factor tree, do some uh, definitions here. A factor tree is a way of finding the prime factors of a number. Okay. Um, okay. Prime factorization. Prime factorization is a number sentence using prime numbers and exponents to represent a number. Okay, so there are your two defining sentences. Okay, and then we're going to talk about how to do a factor tree. Um, and honestly, I, I think they're kind of fun, so I hope you do too. Um, so we're going to start with a um, pretty straightforward number, like let's do uh, 24. Okay, um, when you do a factor tree, you make this little, you know, I don't know, mountaintop, two line, top of a triangle, um, I don't know what you want to call it, top of an arrow, arrow with its head cut off, and you pick two numbers to do here, okay? And I'm actually going to show you 24 done twice to show you that it doesn't matter what you pick, okay? Because I can do 4 times 6 is 24, or I can do 8 times 3 is 24, um, or I could do 2 times 12, okay? You know, what the goodness. Let's do 2 times 12, too. Okay, so we've got three factor trees, and they're all going to come out the same. It's going to be really awesome. So once you get to this point, and normally you don't do all three, but I want to prove to us all that it works any, any way you do it, um, you take each factor and you break it down further, okay? So how do you get 4? You get 4 by doing 2 times 2. How do you get 6? By doing 2 times 3. Okay. How do you get 8? You get 8 by doing 4 times 2. Okay. 3 is just 3 times 1. And once I get to a point where I'm doing something times 1, I, I don't have to go any further. Okay. So the 3 just gets to stay there. Okay, um, and really it gets to stay there because it's a prime number. It cannot be broken up any further except to repeat itself and to multiply by one. Okay, the two for the same reason gets to just stay there. Okay, but the 12 is six times two. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my factor tree and I'm just going to circle the prime numbers that I've found so far. Okay, um, a two is a prime number and a three is a prime number. Okay, 4 is not, 2 is, 3 is, 2 is, 6 is not, okay? So on each, I know I'm done with my factor tree when I'm down to nothing but prime numbers. So this tree is finished, okay? This tree, 4 is 2 times 2, okay? And now this tree is finished, okay? 6 is 2 times 3. And now this tree is finished, okay? And what I want you to notice is that all of these trees, no matter how I started, I have one, two, three twos, and one three. One, two, three twos, one three. One, two, three twos, one three, okay? So this is the factor tree, okay? So this was the factor tree. That's just what we um, have all agreed to call this. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how you turn a factor tree into a prime factorization. You do that by just writing a number sentence. Okay, so the prime factorization here, okay, prime factorization of 24. Okay, I take these 
So I have, what do I have? I have two, 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 and three. Okay. So you are going to count up, count the number of each digit. Okay. So like how many twos do you have? How many threes do you have? Okay. Use exponents. To represent, um, to represent, and then you're going to write um, a multiplication number sentence. Okay, and my example for that would be there are one, two, three twos, so this would be two cubed, okay, right, because there are three twos, two times two times two. And then there's one three, and I don't have to put a one above a three because three to the first power is just three, equals 24, okay? And remember, I'm using this dot now to represent multiplication because um, it's what I do in higher levels of math, okay? And if you need to check this, you can ask yourself, what is two cubed? Two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times three is, you guessed it, 24. So um, a prime factorization, um, all of the numbers in the number sentence, except for the answer, have to be prime numbers. Okay, And then you just use exponents. So um, there is one example using the number 24. Okay. And there is your whole page, kind of just as a go back over it. Um, and there you go. Thank you.